This morning, growing concern over potential super spreading events, which may be fueling a dramatic spike in coronavirus cases. <laughs> Tensions boiling over outside a church in Ventura County, California, where pro mass demonstrators had gathered. Godspeed Calvary Chapel defying statewide orders with indoor services. Now you get a chance to greet one another, uh, you know, however you like. There's freedom. Say hello. In Sturgis, South Dakota, a 10-day motorcycle rally that's expected to draw up to a quarter million people is still underway. All the other bike shows have been canceled nationwide. No masks required. To me, uh... A, a little bit frightening. Dr. Joshua Schiffer is with the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center. He and his colleagues published a paper that's not been peer reviewed, but it found that coronavirus super spreading events are the result of the right people at the wrong place at the wrong time. 10 to 20 percent of people are responsible for about 80 percent of the infections. Then there are these less common but extremely important events where one person can infect dozens and sometimes over a hundred people. According to a model his team built, the riskiest window for transmission may be very brief, just a one or two day period in the week after a person is infected. But that window could be a huge problem if the person happens to be surrounded by crowds. The most obvious thing is you would try to prevent an unnecessary congregation of people in a tight environment. With the U.S. topping 5 million cases, these five states combined now make up more than 40 percent of the infections. In Chicago, beaches remain closed, but dozens gathered on one over the weekend anyway. You know, that picture was, I think, horrifying to many people uh, standing here. So, Gabe, what do we know about the role that ventilation plays in these these super spreader events? Well, Craig, yeah, potentially a lot, Craig. That is what researchers are looking at right now. One study found that a restaurant in China, in a restaurant in China, some families were infected because of the particles apparently going through the air conditioning system. And that is why researchers are trying to see if UV light hooked up to these AC systems might be able to kill the virus. It could be a major way to stop these super spreading events.